don't think that they totally s- always see through the media what it's like for somebody on the ground. A Shenango Valley native now living and working in Israel gives his own account of living in a war zone. Jonathan Tcat grew up and went to school in Shenango Valley. He was a YSU football player, and his love of sport is what is helping him through a very tough time. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has that story. As war in the Middle East rages and rockets continue to rain down on neighborhoods, Jonathan Tkak may be a study in endurance. Just give me one second, I have uh, uh, just rocket alerts going off. The new Wilmington native and YSU grad has been living in Israel the last year. He admits air raid sirens and bomb shelters are a way of life there. And if mm-hmm. the siren goes off in our, in our neighborhood, or I should say in our city, we're, we are required to go there. We have about 90 seconds until impact. Besides working for a global consulting company, TCAC is coach of the Israeli flag football team, hoping to make the L.A. Olympic Games in 2028. But the war is impacting that. A lot of our players um, in our league, um, that Sunday, Monday, uh, you know, after the atrocities that took place on October 7th, were called up to active duty. Three of those soldiers were killed in the first days of fighting. As TCAC and his team looked for ways to support those players in uniform, he received a call from his old coach asking what he could do. What you're going to do on behalf of the world is special. That prompted a series of video clips, many from what TCAC calls his Youngstown network, offering words of encouragement. We deliver those videos every evening um, to the players. In the meantime, TCAC says people there press ahead, trying to live as close to their version of normal as they can. The resiliency and the determination of um, you know the Israeli people to continue moving forward um, is something that's definitely inspiring to me. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. As for his job as a coach, TCAC says football brings people together wherever it's being played. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.